The Indian economy reportedly suffered a loss of 25,000 crore rupees due to the September 2nd nationwide strike by central trade unions in protest against labor reforms proposed by the Narendra Modi led NDA regime and impacted most essential services. Normal life was affected in many states as millions of industrial and blue collar employees struck work in the first nationwide protest since Prime Minister Modi took power more than a year ago. Sharon Burrow, the General Secretary of the Brussels based International Trade Union Confederation or ITUC, the world's largest trade union body, reportedly questioned the government's intention in working to improve labor standards. G. Sanjeeva Reddy, Vice President of ITUC and President of INTUC and a former member of Parliament, however, also expressed his dissatisfaction with the high membership fees amounting to lakhs of rupees being paid to the ITUC. Ms. Sarunbaro, Mrs. Sarunbaro might have given some remark to her. Say that remark uh, is uh, psychologically might be supported to us, but it won't make a much uh, difference for us because we have to depend on our own strength. I am paying every year my application fees to the my application fees to the ITUC Brussels and the ITUC Singapore, the regional organization. But nothing is coming back. That fund is used by the ITUC, not at all coming back to the India. In lakhs I have to pay every year. We are earning money and we want a partnership in that earning money. Our workers should get in a partnership in that. We are a partner in the in the profit. Vijay Shubhadhyay, General Secretary of the Bhartiya Mazdoor Sangh, also voiced his objection on the ITUC's meddling nature. ITUC being the largest uh, uh, confederated body of the trade unions of the world, their relevance, their existence also is now has become questionable. What they are supposed to do, they are not doing that one. In spite of their defined, designed objective, they are doing something else in India are being banned and we are demanding also to get them banned because they are not fulfilling, they are not uh, serving the concern of Indian concern, Indian origin concerns. Misutilization of funds has been the central theme in every criticism of ITUC. It is being reported that they have allegedly paid thousands of dollars to several agencies to give a boost to their various campaigns. ITUC reportedly gets its annual funds from its affiliates in 162 countries, which amounts to millions of dollars.